Did It Hurt is my first short film. Uh, I had intended to make a short film for a while, and actually I was working on a project in the Philippines, but uh, while I was in Thailand just for a few days, I ended up being stuck during the COVID pandemic. And um, what turned from a few days turned into a year and a half of staying in Thailand. So uh, I was very blessed to have encountered a team from very critically acclaimed, one of my favorite living directors, his name is Api Chatpong Virasatakun. And once I started to work with um, his team and I met them by pure chance actually that I was able to make my first short film and it was a way for me to sort of reconcile with a lot of the violence that was happening around the world at that time, but through a very intimate story of um, a Muay Thai trainer's life story and his relationship with violence. Violence in movies, and I, I think movies in general are, uh, especially American movies, which happen to be ultra violent. They're just, uh, they're a form of entertainment for, a pe for people. And I think that we've become sort of desensitized, not only through movies, but all kinds of media that we're constantly seeing violence occurring throughout the world. And so there, we have no reaction to this violence anymore. And um, even when you're able to see my film, you'll see that although it's about violence, there's not very much violence that you actually physically see, and yet uh, one can experience it. And I think once we become sensitive again to the suffering that violence causes, then we can begin to work on ourselves and uh, our reaction to violence, which I think the appropriate response is always compassion. I think Asian cinema has been the, some of the most exciting cinema within the last probably 50 years or so. Um, of course, the Japanese cinematic tradition is very old and they have some of the best filmmakers of all time, um, you know, starting from the 50s and 60s or so. But in the, in the 90s, we had amazing Taiwanese directors from the Taiwanese New Wave. Uh, and then it, we have directors like Wong Kar Wei uh, that came from Hong Kong. And there's also a lot of great directors now coming from uh, both Japan and Korea. But in terms of Southeast Asia, I think that there has been a huge opening just in the past few years that people have become curious about the cultural identity and the beliefs there and how it shapes the way of life. So I think we'll see a lot more cinema coming from Southeast Asia. And, and in, within the past few years, there have been amazing great successes from Southeast Asia and I'm, I'm excited to see more. Did It Hurt was my first short film so I treated myself as a student and although I was never a very good student in school per se, uh, I am very studious and I like to study on my own so uh, this was a sort of exercise for me to learn the craft of filmmaking, uh, to understand the techniques of storytelling but a sort of uh, spiritual exercise as well to begin to direct my awareness uh, from the different senses, whether that's how the camera sees things. So, uh, you know, that is, that's a way to express how we ourselves as creators view life, but, you know, also our sensitivity to sound, our sensitivity to texture, and um, just bringing uh, an awareness to our everyday life. So given that experience and opening our awareness every single day, I hope to develop my skills and techniques over the next few years so that I can communicate better, uh, be able to reconcile my interior world and my exterior world so that there, there's more harmony between them. And I hope to just um, be inspired by the masters of cinema. And uh, to be here at Tampere Film Festival is a great honor. Uh, some of the great new exciting filmmakers. I've seen some amazing short films already and a lot of different perspectives from around the world. I'm already learning a lot. So this is a, an amazing learning experience for me.